Welcome everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM UFO Challenge. Depending on how things go, this LP could end very soon. Depending on how things go, it could also still take quite a while. I have to thank my brave advisor Frozen Foxy for always having endless history lessons in the comment section telling me about things that I don't know. Sir, you really like to talk a lot, and I mean a lot. However, a lot of your hints are very, very helpful, and Jesus Christ, how do you know all that stuff anyway? Well, it certainly helps, so I will try to take that into account. Anyway, where are we? What do we need to do? Oh yeah! Um, we just came back from a horrible chrysalid mission, where I believe three rookies bit the dust. As sad as it is, can't be helped. But, um, Orochimaru, Pix, Chen, Nitori, the British Sandwich, Indestructible, the Mr. Pain Elemental, they all managed to survive, even though Chen, oh wait, no, Chen was wounded, and the average Excom dude is still wounded, Jesus Christ. Anyway, anyway, let's get to business. First of all, research. The plasma rifle clip. My god, why is this taking so long? Let's see, Frozen Foxy, you told me all about why... Um, I can't put stuff back into the base because it's hopelessly overloaded with crap. Let's have a look. Stores. Indeed, 150 of 150. That's beautiful. I guess I need more stores. Beautiful. Um, I am building more stores though. Five more days, so let's see what will happen when that's done. Hmm, am I manufacturing anything? I am still manufacturing power suits, I guess. Um, yeah, two units produced so far. Let's give them to people. Um, wait, where's the equip suit stuff thingy majingy again? There we go. <laughs> Alright, two fresh suits of power armor. Who wants some power armor? Fresh from the manufacturer. Um, Rebecca, have a suit of power yeah. armor. And who else? Who else? The marked one? You did a lot. You would deserve it. Claire as well. Slider has... Alright... Hmm. Most of my good people have power armor. Who of you guys did very well in the last uh, mission? Nitori and Orochimaru, I'm impressed with your skills. But the other people didn't do that bad either. Hmm. Let's just give this suit to... Let's give it to... I don't know, Claire, for the heck of it. Anyway, and now, let's see how far are we into the month. Oh, the month is almost over. I am curious if more people decide to betray me. The UK is not really a big loss since it's just a, such a small piece of land. It wouldn't be good if uh, like a place like America decides to betray me because then funds will decrease tremendously. Alright, let's just wait for our science and stuff and UFO incident. Oh, don't tell me another crashed UFO. What's with all the drunk driving? Indeed, it's a crash one, I guess, in Russia. In Soviet Russia, UFO crash... No, that's not a good joke. Anyway, why not? Send the fresh blood out to take care of another UFO. Do -do -do. As far as I know, there was a certain building we can make that tells us exactly what kind of unit is and what people are aboard. I forgot what I need to do in order to get the option to create that building. Hmm, I guess I will find out eventually. Please let it be a day mission, please let it be a day mission, please let it be a day mission, please let it be a day mission. Oh my god. Should be a day mission. Crash site 25. Alright people, I'm not even gonna bother. It's just a crashed UFO, they were drunk driving and it's your job to take him out. Any questions? We still have some light flares. I don't think it's a... Oh look, everybody was so smart to equip a laser rifle. I'm impressed. I don't really think it's um, a night mission. I'm still gonna give a few of these out. Should be enough. And in a jungle. Oh, it's just a small UFO. That's nice. I gu I'm guessing there won't be too much alien activity in there. Alright, who shall we? Oh, <laughs> totally forgot. I need new people aboard. Oh well, whatever. Bix or Orochimaru? Uh, Bix, you are just a squaddy. Orochimaru is the sergeant, so you are expandable. 
What are you? What are we facing? Oh, another muton. I really hate mutons. Indeed, if you haven't figured it out already in that one mission where we had one muton, they take quite a beating and they can be very accurate if they want to be. How the hell did you survive that, Bix? I'm guessing without your buddy Wedge, or let's just say without your buddy Wedge, maybe you don't have to be... Wedge was the, like, the captain of your team, right? So maybe without him you will be off better. Alright, that mutant probably wasted all his time units, so we are going to make him pay for that mistake. Well, three hits, but three hits is two hits too many. We definitely need plasma weapons. Laser rifles are good and all with their uh, unlimited capacity of ammunition, but still. Uh, I'm guessing there are more mutants in that ship, which is beautiful, because we love mutants. Alright, I'm guessing two people should be enough for just one UFO. Oh, never mind. <laughs> wow, that did not even take three minutes or so. We can totally ignore the fact that that ever happened. And another UFO, a very small one. Also in Russia. Interceptor, I have a job for you. Let's see if you can catch it. It's quite far away, but maybe... Oh. Oh, nice. Aggressive attack, I can't be bothered to infiltrate. Yay, destroyed. Alright, that makes me happy. <laughs> a little bit of payback for the last mission. Come on, back to base. I don't really know when I will tackle that enemy base over there in America. Frozen Foxy, my brave advisor, can you please tell me if alien bases will eventually disappear if you wait too long? That would not be good. Thank you for your answer already. Let's just wait until the month is over. Alright, and... Let's see. Oh my, excellent rating! Oh wow, funding change plus! The Council of Founding Nations is very pleased with your excellent progress. Keep up the good work. Russia, Germany, Italy, Spain, China, Brazil, Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt and Canada are particularly happy with your process progress in dealing with local alien incursion and have agreed to increase their funding. Well folks, you know what that means. Another month full of happy XCOM activity. By the way... Oh, one moment, another small UFO that wants to be shut down. Interceptor, moving out. And another aggressive attack, why not? Just shoot it out of the sky. I'm not even gonna bother. Oh, beautiful, it crash landed. Well, my people will still be busy. That's not good that it crash landed, that's just postponing my research success. Anyway, we need new people aboard, this time I won't forget about it. A good craft. By the way, for anybody who wonders why I'm not researching the main, like, research objectives like Alien Origins, it's simply because of the fact that once you research certain things, a certain type of new alien starts to appear. And that certain type of alien, I dread. We do never want to encounter them, at least not until we have heavy plasma weapons. And a commander would be nice too. Anyway, wow, four spaces available. Who can go with us? Um, Excella, you haven't done anything in a while. The Flying Fish, you shall join us. And who else? Who else? Frozen Foxy, you're a good advisor, but it's time for you to do something as well. Get into action. And with that said, let's, uh, uh, let's see. Oh, if we hurry up, it's very close by, then we can make it there before it gets night. Alright, Crash at 27! My god, this is happening so fast now, it's like... <laughs> just another day for XCOM. Alright folks, you know the procedure. Oh great, it's farmland. That's always nice. Um... Yeah. Alright, who else has the honor? Bix, once again. Where's the enemy UFO? Can the map reveal something? Nope, not yet, but judging by the size, it will probably be here. Hmm, oh, it's right behind us. Very nice. Now, I'd like to know what we are... Oh no! Oh no, folks. This is it. This is it, folks. The most horrible threat XCOM could face. And can't get any worse than this. Are you prepared to fight something even worse than chrysalids? 
even worse than mutants. We are facing Jarvis. Oh my god. Well, actually, it's uh, ethereal. Never mind about the fact that until, I mean, as long as we don't research certain things, these guys won't appear. Nope. That's an ethereal, folks. Just think of them as the main elite of the alien invaders. These guys looking like phantoms all hiding their face. They are accurate. They are deadly. They take quite a beating. They have powerful mind control abilities. They are basically the ultimate threat to XCOM. If we could capture one of these alive, that would certainly be good. But I don't think we have a launcher with us, so that's a problem. I'm not gonna risk the lives of my people though. We will tear these things apart because they are dangerous, believe me. You don't want to mess with ethereals. Come on! Oh my god. Wow, how lucky are you that it did not reaction fire back? Bix, you are useless. Nope, oh, uh, wrong button, wrong button. Oh, Christ, ethereals. I knew we would encounter them one day. I just hoped... I hoped that we could prevent them from spawning as long as we did not research certain things. Oh, thank god. Well, folks, they might die easier than mutants, but they are still accurate. Oh, yes, they are deadly accurate. I'm not gonna risk the lives of my people. Bix is probably a lost cause if there are any more outside, and I'm guessing there are more. Oh god, let's just end this turn. Please let it be over already. That would be fabulous, just like the last mission. Nope, there are other ethereals in the vicinity. Okay, I am not going to move out any of my good people. It's just not worth it. These barns need to go. We are facing flipping ethereals. We take no freaking prisoners here. Nope. I will ready grenades. And we will blow the shit out of every barn building in sight. Alright, Bix, for now I'm just gonna let you stay outside there. Also, Frozen Foxy, don't worry, don't freaking worry. I will crouch down. You see? You see? He's crouched down. No reason to scream at me. Or yell. What just happened? You see, folks? Bix is under alien control! Easy as that. And he threw his flipping grenade. But magically, nobody got hurt. How freaking lucky am I that whenever somebody goes crazy with a grenade or misfroes it, that nobody gets hurt? However, we are now facing a new threat. Please tell me that somebody here has stun rods. Oh, thank god, there are certainly stun rods. Orochimaru! I'm not gonna risk that this dude screws us over. There we go. Of course, now you are in danger. Ah, great. With the serials, it's always a thing because you can't just wait. Oh shit. They. <laughs> I thought they crash landed. I thought they freaking crash landed. I. No, they did not. You know what? No. These things are f smart. They have surrounded us. They first mind controlled one of my guys and forced me to come out to save him. And now they have already surrounded us. Alright, British Sandwich. This could be the last sandwich you will ever make. Which one is closer? Where's the other one? The other one's floating. Oh yeah, did I mention that Ethereals can fly? Well, there goes the British Sandwich! He's dead. Yep. Like that. Pain Elemental. Ugh, no matter what I do, ugh, you will die. Ethereals! They are deadly. Have I mentioned they are deadly? Ugh, ugh, ugh. Yeah! Basically, we have to make sacrifices here. 
You can't play safe with Ethereals. Some of our people are going to die. It's going to happen. We can't prevent that from happening. These are Ethereals. Ethereals take no prisoners. It's just us or them. This is like a world war now. It's like we need to throw as many soldiers as possible against them because otherwise we can't win. It's sad, but it can't be helped. Why can't you f shoot from there? Uh, uh. Mr. Indestructible, you better freaking hit it. Oh god, one freaking time unit missing. Are you kidding? Oh my god. That ethereal is going to kill us. Did I mention that ethereals can throw grenades? Yeah, these guys have everything. Nituri, you are our last hope to kill that ethereal. Why? Oh god, you will die as well. You will all die, horribly. Please kill it. No! Nituri! You failed me, Nituri! Oh my god, if that thing throws a grenade, we are screwed. Everybody, it was an honor to fight with you. Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow! Nitori, you managed to stay alive! Orochimaru is under alien control. That the theory shot, um, that guy over there unconscious. Orochimaru shot this dude unconscious. <sighs> yeah, Nitori. Oh, hit it! Hit it! Please! Oh my god! Why can't you hit it? What have I done to deserve this? Please? Oh my... Oh, thank god. Is it unconscious? It doesn't matter that it's unconscious though, Orochimaru will kill us all! <laughs> oh god! A team of five men, all taken out by one flipping... And one of these guys is probably sitting in the UFO laughing at us! Somebody needs to... Orochimaru! Go! Somebody needs to stun Orochimaru. The Neo was... Um, how much do you need to stun? 16. You probably won't have enough if you move down there. Oh god. Pain Elemental died from a fatal wound. Orochimaru, so nice of you to join us again. That Ethereal has lost his gun. He has lost his gun. You know what that means? He is ours. He will come with us. We will capture a life ethereal. I don't care if it's just a soldier. Nitori, you will infiltrate the enemy ship and die in the process. Or you will be mind controlled, whatever you prefer. Uh, one more. Uh, no, no, no. I don't even want to think about it. When we come back, folks. Um, death. Ethereals trying to win this simple mission that I thought would be simple, but it turned out to be hell. Any ethereal mission is worse than a chrysalid mission, even if it's an enemy base with chrysalids. Ethereals are far, far worse. When we come back, folks, we will continue this right here. Until then, until then. <laughs>